Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'm going to be testing out the performance of the Razer phone when it tries to run GameCube games. So I made a video a while ago, how to play GameCube ISOs on an Android phone, and a few of you guys said, well, how well does it perform on the Razer phone? So I'm going to test that for you guys, and I'm going to tell you guys how much FPS the games run, if any textures are missing, or if there are any glitches which just ruin the game. So I'm gonna, I've got four games here to test. I've got Luigi's Mansion, Smash Bros. Melee, Super Mario Sunshine, and Time Splitters. So I'll just play the game for about a minute and let you guys know if it's playable or if it's just terrible. So the first game I'm gonna be testing is Luigi's Mansion. So the game seems to run at a fairly steady rate. It gets an average FPS from about 22 to 30 FPS, but it is a 30 FPS restricted game anyway. The cutscenes load fine, there aren't really any missing textures, the gameplay seems to run smooth, and yeah, I would say this game is completely playable. The next game I'll be testing is Smash Bros Melee. So this game seems to run okay. There are a few um, points in the game where it starts to glitch and sort of a few frame drops. It gets of an average between 47 and 60 FPS. but there you will notice the glitches in this game so it's definitely playable but maybe not the best experience. Next up is Super Mario Sunshine. So this game isn't as good as the last two I just played. It gets an average FPS from around 14 to 23 and seeing as this is a 60fps um, game is not really that good. There's a lot of glitches, a lot of lag. You could play it if you want to, but it wouldn't really be that nice. So the last game I'll be testing out is probably the hardest one to run. It's Time Splitters Future Perfect. Um, and this game is basically a first person shooter. It requires quite a lot of graphics and everything. And yeah, this is just unplayable. It gets from around 7 to 13 FPS but it just doesn't work, the controls don't really suit it and it just has tons of lag and glitches, it's impossible to even move on the game. So I would definitely not recommend trying this one out.
So overall the Razer phone actually did pretty well. I'd say definitely three out of the four games I tested you could play. Um, yeah, considering it's a phone and a GameCube is a kind of games console, it can actually run the games really well. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.